Welcome back to Novs Explorer Radio. This week, the explorers capture the uncertain nature of van life and the realities of traveling in unknown places. Yes, Colin, not every day can be filled with lounging on beautiful beaches and witnessing stunning sunsets. They still have chores to do. Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers to our old subscribers and new and our members too. Yes, there might be quite a few new members watching today because we had a very lovely shout out from John and Mandy on tour mm -hmm. and Darren at the Urban Motorhome. Yep, they sang our praises didn't they? Oh yes. Uh, very generous compliments towards our channel which we really appreciate. So. Uh, I'm sure most of you uh, who are watching this will know who they are, but if not, we will link their channels uh, down below. Uh, we really appreciate the shout out and we've had quite a little boost over the last few days. So thank you and hello to all the uh, new subscribers. Yes. So I think it's quite apparent that you guys are loving Sardinia just as much as we are. Um, we've been really proud of our last two videos. Um, we think, you know, I think because of how much we have fallen in love with Sardinia, that's really coming across in the videos and we've just seen some amazing places and done some amazing things. I feel as if with the epic footage we've shot over the last few weeks, we may have boxed ourselves into a corner. Yeah, I think each little video we try and make better and better and we've captured some amazing things, but there's going to be some point we get to where we can't get any better. We might be reaching that quite soon and you guys in the comments are all like, oh, I can't wait for the next one and I'm like, we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we, we've never been here before, so we have really we don't have any idea what to expect around the next corner, really. That's it. And also, we don't want to be guilty of mis-selling what living in a van is like. Um, we are probably guilty of sharing much more positive stuff than the negative. So today, at least for the beginning of this video, we're going to bring everything back down to earth. Give you a massive slice of what real van life is like and carrying out a few general chores. As a little treat, which we haven't had in ages, we had a, a couple of takeaway pizzas, which were rather lovely. Just a short walk. And I think I disrespected you quite highly last night because we also had refrigerated Coke. And I said to Meg, it's probably the best thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> which, a bit harsh. as a chef, didn't go down too well. Yeah, you also described it as biblical. Um, anyway, changing the subject swiftly before I really yep. do take offence. So we parked here for uh, necessity, not beauty, obviously. We've got a lot of chores we want to do today. We'll come to that later. I know I said we don't want to miss-sell uh, the van life experience, um, but just to give you a bit of a contrast, this was last night's spot, but here is where we've been for the last couple of days or so. Yeah. Where we've been spending the week since filming our bed video, which would have been last week. Yeah. So roll VT. So here we are exploring the stunning Costa Verde, a mountainous region of green rural coastline which spans 47 kilometres. We visited the sand dune bordered beaches resembling desert landscapes. Travelling to this region takes you off the beaten track. Every road here is a windy one that takes you through abandoned mining villages frozen in time. Today we find ourselves back in civilization ready to carry out our van life admin. One of the drawbacks about having a tiny camper is the limited storage space for food and water. Today's chores include a month's worth of laundry, park for night helps us locate these as well as parking options, refilling our water supply, handily located in the park opposite the laundrette, and we also filled our solar shower, but more on that later. We refueled Flora and carried out our weekly food shop, and then we finally found recycling bins which has been one of the more difficult things to do in Sardinia. Whilst waiting for the laundry to finish, we headed into the beautiful historical centre of Inglesias. We found the famous Umbrella Street, which casts a unique shadow on the pavement below. No one really knows the reasoning behind its installation, but it's rather beautiful and graceful as it bobs about in the breeze. But now it's time to get back out into the wild and find a spot to spend the night deep in the wooded valley.
Welcome to the rainforest. Right, so the situation is this. Oh, the microphone's a bit broken. So we've literally just pulled off the main road because it got a little bit too... Main road. <laughs> yeah, unpaved road because it was getting a little bit too bumpy. Um, there's, We might make it, but I don't think there's any point in trying. We've probably come about three kilometers on road similar to this, if not a lot worse. So we've kind of like already made quite a commitment to come into this place, but we've come to a little beauty spot, a little picnic spot, and this isn't gonna come across on the video at all unless I put spooky music behind what I'm saying, but I'm not getting good vibes from this spot. It's very hot. It's very flyy. We've got one horse fly that will not, not bugger hmm. off. If it's not on me, it's on Meg and vice versa. There's bugs everywhere all on the hair. They're so loud, which is quite nice in a way, but not so much when you're looking for somewhere to stay. And there's, where we're proposing to stay is quite close to some derelict buildings and a little shrine of some description. So as me and Meg always harp on, you should always go with your gut. However, only one of our guts is particularly negative about the bad juju in this place. It ain't tickling my pickle. I said Blair Witch Project, didn't I? And you said, yeah, kind of. It's a shame because we spent so long trying to get up this road. <sighs> Means we've got to drive back down there. And it's getting late and we haven't got anywhere figured out for tonight. Also, there's no signal here. So we, if I wanted to send out a May Day distress call, not a chance, mate. No one's going to hear it. So, yes, I think it's back in the van in a minute and back down the road. Um, I don't know. What can I say? Go with your gut. This time mine's screaming no. <laughs> it's mainly well it's mainly my choice but I, I'm just not liking this I I feel it more than you do I think tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> right. that said that said last night I was not happy I didn't want to stay in that town at all but we made a compromise and had a really bad night's sleep so yeah but you want pizza <laughs> ice cold coke what more do you want yeah so we're gonna jump back in the van get that down your neck do you want to, do you want to vlog anything no. Right, next time you'll see us, we'll be in a different spot. <laughs> Let's see if we can rate this out of spooky out of 10. <laughs> so we drove back down the horrendously bumpy track. Poor old Flora and her suspension. So fortunately the way back down was a bit quicker, but this is, you can't see it on camera at all, but maybe you can see the shifting <laughs> body of the van. Oh, this is the road that we hit initially. And we thought, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on up there. So this is definitely one of the worst bits. Yeah, like I said, it isn't gonna come out on it's camera. The state of that. But what's weird is this line here is tarmac. It's a double width, quite nicely done road, which is really peculiar. So we never thought we'd be facing those roads on the way up. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. You happy? Yeah, not taking you any place nice ever again. <laughs> So you now find us in our new spot or potential spot for the evening called Grotta di San Giovanni, which that means grotty, means caves, which are just up there. Hello, <laughs> cyclist man. And it's just outside a town called Domus Novas, inland somewhat. Um, so it took us about six hours to do our chores, which we kind of leave generally a whole day to achieve them all. The one thing that we didn't have to do today which was um, collect gas. That's the one thing of the list that we normally would do. Um, and the van currently looks like a bomb's gone off. QB roll of horrendously messy van. San Giovanni cave tunnels nearly one kilometer into the mountain. You can take a tour that takes you deep into its belly. Standing in front of the cave's opening, you can feel a huge change in the air temperature. We wandered around the valley and found a few tiny furballs. Callum's come to ruin the day yet again. We've just had a nice little walkabout and 
we've realized this place doesn't really get very quiet. There's cars constantly coming up and down here. It's just not for us at the, at the moment, is it? No, it's half past eight. So it's half eight and we're getting By this lot... time, it should have really yeah. thought about being quiet. It's um, lovely up by the cave. The cool air coming out of there is so nice. About 15 degrees, isn't it, inside? Mm. Oh, gorgeous. I'm gonna go back down this road slightly and there's a generic car park at the bottom. Hopefully we can find a space in there, but I don't know. It's one of those days, we haven't had one of these in a while, have we? No, Where? I think this is the realness again. We yeah. just thought it would be chores that's showing you the realness, but... Uh... Yes, because we have been just by the coast, by the beaches for days, and we're not really worrying. We saw the Carabinieri once or twice, but they weren't bothered with us, and, no. you know, we was being sensible, but you kind of forget after a while that you do have days like this, and it's just a bit, oh, challenging. Um, yeah. But obviously we make it hard for ourselves because we're not paying for a campsite or anything at the moment, so... Bends the risks. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Morning everyone. Our plans aren't working out. <laughs> so the weather is due to get very hot soon, we've been warned. So we think... There's an uh, African cyclone coming in from the <laughs> south. <laughs> this wasn't the, the plan when we started out this video. We wanted to show you more stuff inland and we will eventually as yeah. we sort of go back up north. So we're going to head to the coast now to seek a little bit of sea breeze and we're going to head back into the Costa Verde. So... I just want to find somewhere that we can sleep. We've had two nights of just pretty bad sleep. I'm just, ugh, bad enough of it. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> This was last night's attempt to have a little bit of breeze through the windows. We mm. ordered 30 tiny weeny magnets. 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 <laughs> yeah, wow, it looks like it's a real proper job. Well, I did my best. <laughs> and if there was more breeze, it would have worked a treat. We drove for a couple of hours along the amazing coastal road between Nervida and Portigetu. That's one thing we love about Sardinia. You're never too far away from the sea. So we have made it back to the coast. We are now just above San Nicolo Beach, which is that one down there. We're on a quiet road in a in a wild spot. It's quite nice. <laughs> Bit of a lay-by, really. Yeah. But the view is not bad. Yeah, rather stunning. We get the shower in position ready for tonight and just relax for the afternoon and just chill. Okay, so we've been in this spot for a couple hours now, just chilling out. I'm sure the drone footage showed you just how amazing it is. The road is right there, but it's pretty quiet. So we're hoping that tonight we can just sort of get by. We only do one night here, aren't we? So yeah. fingers crossed. But now it's in time for a very important job that we get to do maybe once a week. Twice. Maybe a little bit more now that we've got uh, this nifty device. That's it. This is um, a device that we've used a lot recently since leaving lockdown. Prior to that, we hadn't used it all. We hadn't really had to. But if you look on top of the uh, roof box up here, lying flat is a black bag, which is that's essentially what it is with the hose sticking out, but they call it a, a solar shower. 
So depending on obviously how hot it is and sunny outside, over the course of about a couple of hours, it's heated up just right. We have had it too hot the first time we did it. We didn't realize how good the Sardinian sun was, but right now I think it's pretty good. So we have the little hose and it's got a little, little flick on and off switch here. Uh, it's a shame we didn't have one yesterday because we had fresh sheets from the laundry, but um, yeah, you've got to let your standards slip somewhat. We did wash our feet. <laughs> yeah. I rubbed the dirt off myself a little bit. <laughs> right, shower time with yeah. Meg and Cal. Bloody nightmare when you drop the soap. <laughs> every, every single shower Meg has made it a duty apparently to drop the soap. That's always nice uh, rubbing yourself down with a bit of gravel. <laughs> it was on the cusp of being too hot, we had to be a little bit cautious. We haven't used it all and we're going to save that because I imagine we might have a little bit of washing up to do later. So yeah, that was really refreshing. And what's coming up next? Um, I thought we'd have a little treat for tea. I've been watching a lot of um, beard versus food. Uh, at night which is really bad because I end up getting like cravings for all the awful stuff so basically we're having a monster beef burger yeah, for, for, for people who don't know beard versus food he just does eating challenges beard meats food meat actually meats food well yeah it's like man versus food anyway I'm getting hungry just thinking about <laughs> it so that is what I'll be making for dinner tonight yeah. before it gets too hot so let's get a crack in And there you have it, dirty burgers. Makes a change from the salads we've been having for like the last, what, month? Yeah. yeah we... And we haven't had any meat either, have we actually? No, they smell amazing, they look delicious. We seem to have our hot meals earlier on, don't we? So that we get the time to the van to clear out and cool down a bit. Yeah, we've got some corn on the cob as well, but <laughs> we've got to destroy these first. So yeah. do excuse us. As you can probably guess from that face, it was a taste sensation. We spent the evening relaxing and watching Hamilton on Disney Plus. What a night. We woke the next morning to unexpected rain. So carrying on from yesterday's shower saga, we have now almost emptied the bag. The remainder that we didn't use for showering in went to wash this morning's dishes and then we've also done the outside of the van a bit, especially the windscreen because uh, with the dry heat and the, the rain and the dust it just makes a bit of a mess. So now I think it's just getting out the last few little bits and bobs and I'm pretty sure I've got a better way of doing it than we've done it before. Boop scootin' baby, you're driving me crazy. My obsession for it was to my dance all day. So last night's spot was a very nice one in the end. We were a little bit concerned with how close we were to the road, but I don't think we heard anything throughout the night, really. It was quiet, it was beautiful views. It's quite amazing how you just look out the van's window and you've got all those hills in the yeah. background, lovely turquoise sea. And we also had a very nice breeze for the majority oh. of it, didn't we? Which yeah. is refreshing. Right, let's go on our walk. It's supposed to be getting nicer later on. Yeah, um, the sun feels like it's coming out a tad. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna... So we now have made our way to Bucheru, which is how it's actually <laughs> pronounced and it's an old mining village and uh, we're gonna head up 
up there somewhere. Gotta find the path first and then over to the next like main cove really. So we found the path and we're making our way up and out of Bucheru, I think. But in the background you can see it's very beautiful, very colourful and there's plenty of like hustle and bustle, restaurants, bars and uh, maybe for later a gelateria for gelato. So hopefully we've just about reached the highest point on the walk and good old sun's decided to pop out. <laughs> Fortunately there is a bit of a breeze which is making it slightly easier but uh, I'm sure you could tell that we're both a little bit sweaty. So we're glad we had those showers yesterday. Oh, it's a beautiful walk though. Almost 180 degrees views of the ocean. Stunning. Mm. This is the last part of the uh, Costa Verde region. After this it changes into something else which I can't quite remember what it is, like carbonara. Actually carbonara. Okay. Not actually lying about that. Down south. And as we look up that's the Costa Verde. It's lovely, but uh, we're, both <laughs> we're both feeling it and we're trying to ration our water a little bit because we're not entirely sure if we're going to find any on the way. It's always in the planning. Can you explain what's going on? Uh, with... What, my attire? Yeah. Well, it's a bit hot and I should have bought a hat on the trip as a whole, not just today. Um, so yeah. the hair needs to be out the top and I need a bit of coverage to my neck. Um, but I like it, it's a, it's a statement. Sure is, I it's mean. It's a look. Uh, but no, we've kind of made a, a little wrong turn because we wanted to get nearer the coast for nicer views, but and a breeze as well actually, but it wasn't it wasn't the right turn. For some reason we thought we know best, let's go off piste. Just don't, just follow the route. <laughs> oh well. It's only a few a few meters down the wrong way, so yes. best foot forward to reach retrace our steps. Oh. I think we've arrived. The colour of that water. Actually scratch that, this is just like a little mini beach around the corner. We've got to go like around that way. But we're getting close. <laughs> Good day, yeah. Don't get too excited. Because it's still not it's still around the corner. And now we've made it to Cala Domestica. Na -na! Well worth the walk. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely, very surprising, to be honest. Mm. Meet you at the beach bar. I need a drink, a nice one. Bye. So we spent the best part of about two hours on these beaches. We both had a nice little dip. We had a sandwich, a drink, and I wouldn't say we're feeling ready to go because we know that the first bit of this walk is going to be quite intense. And once we get to the top, it should be okay. It's just going to be a bit of a dredge, isn't it? But it's been really nice here. The water's yeah. been lovely. There is a car park here, but you have to pay. So uh, yeah. we thought we'd do the walk, which uh, <laughs> I'm, we'll let you know if it was a good idea or not when we get back home. But I think it was. We saw quite. 
a lot of cool stuff on the way, but um, how much we'll film on the way back, I don't know if you might just want to get back to the van before we run out of energy, because we want to find someone to sleep tonight. Yeah, indeed. Right, let's go. Woohoo! So that was quite an uneventful walk, really. Just trudging along and trudging and trudging, but thankfully, here is the town where we started off and we can see Flora from up here, so that's a good start. We should have got zigzag, meander our way back down and make it to the van. Are you going to go in the sea it on there or just uh, get a drink? Contemplate, definitely a drink. So my gums are stuck to my teeth, look. <laughs> oh, but it was a lovely walk, but time it better. That's what I'm saying. And this summer scarf is <laughs> preventing the back of my neck from burning. <laughs> Wow. Any more than it already is. That's, That's why we're called the Novs Explorers. What a treat to end the day. Gelato, just like I wanted. Quickly now, let's rock and roll. It's gonna melt. Our hike today totaled 10 kilometers, and it was safe to say that we were bushed. We found a picturesque park up with a fantastic view of the ocean. Good morning. Well, maybe mm, no, definitely four, not. Four past one. So we had a really good night's sleep here. Lovely cooling breeze. It's very quiet. There were a couple more vans here, but they've all disappeared. So we woke up, had a coffee in this beautiful surrounding. So we also took this time to do a little bit of sad admin sad admin <laughs> um what i mean by that is that we have now taken the plunge and we've booked both our ferry from port of torres back to france and then we've booked the channel tunnel from france back to the uk <laughs> uh, we've got how many days was it we've got about just about two weeks yeah. but we've got a lot of loose ends we want to tie up we're going to go obviously head back north to see Mike and Colette make the most of our time here. There's still stuff we need to see. Obviously, we're quite far south, so we're going to make our way north, and we hopefully will show you the interior. I know we meant to do that in this video, but it failed. However, the next few videos maybe should be a bit more of the interior of Sardinia. I'm going to make the most of it. It's just been one of those weeks where we can't quite find the rhythm, um, and you do have them, and. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? No, the compared highs... to all of the other things that we've done in the oh, past yeah. like two months. Yeah, it just gets you a bit out of sync. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. They all really help us out. It tells YouTube that we're doing a good job and we will like talking to you guys. Also consider becoming a channel member if you want to support the channel. Yeah, and check out our social medias for real-time travel little snippets. And our time posters. I do try and post stories on our Instagram and Facebook quite often to give you a little tidbit into what's happening. And there's also a link to our blog as well, which uh, has more information about travels, recipes, broader sort of stuff. So hopefully we'll see you next week in the interior of Sardinia. Yeah. But who knows? Ciao!